Hey everybody, this is Sonny from Jax. We are at Jax in Bluxton, Mississippi. We're fixing to open up this CBCS comic uh, box. It is a uh, box of a few graded books. Uh, we'll go over it real quick here, but this is the actual official box opening. We just got it in. Uh, these were sent off about two months ago, so it took a little while to get them back, but they're supposed to speed things up to about a month now, but I ain't seen it yet. Unless you pay a lot of money, then you'll get it back a month. But here we go. So, look, a small package. Now, normally we get 20 or 30 back. I think this is only four books. So um, let's go take a look at it. Uh, let me see. Let me get my little knifey. All right, when you open these boxes up or the packaging up, be careful, be careful not to press too hard on the packaging when you cut it. Otherwise, you're gonna cut the slab and scratch it. Now, obviously, you're not gonna probably cut the book because the book is in the plastic, but you don't wanna scratch your slab up either because people kinda don't like their, their actual plastic casing scratched up. So, so be careful when you get it out. When you get to a certain point, and there's no tape, and then um, you can just unwind it. But right now, there's still some tape on it, so I'm gonna try to get this tape cut off real quick and see what we got in this week. Uh, they just uh, approved my my merchant status for CBCS again, renewed it for the year. The problem is to get the 15% discount, that's all I get, uh, I have to do 600 slabs a year. If I do less than that, I'll get 10%. If I do less than that, I'll get like 5%. So uh, if you only do a couple hundred slabs, it's like 5%. You do like, you know, a couple hundred more slabs, it's 10%. You do 600 plus slabs, it's 15% off your submission. So the stores that do it don't really get much benefit out of it, but at least it's like a, a dollar and a half, two dollars off a book or something like that. So when you go get them slabbed at stores, don't think that store is making a lot of money. Most of that money goes to CBCS itself. All right, let's talk about what we have. Oh, hmm. look here. It's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one, made in 1994. It came back at 9.4. Now you say 9.4, why would you get a grade? Well, look here. There are, in fact, Robbie Musso, Austin St. John, Amy Jo Johnson, David Felding, Jason David Frank, David Youst, Jason Narvey, Karen Ashley, Paul Shriver, Peta Marie Rickson, Walter Jones. So we have 11 autographs on here. Plus, we also have a Robbie Musso sketch on the back. So Robbie Musso is one of the um, artists for one of the series, whatever. But Robbie Musso did a sketch on the back. Check that out. Robbie Musso original sketch on the back plus 11 autographs on front, and we still have a 9.4. So the money is not in the 9.4, the money is having 11 autographs. To get all 11 people together uh, at different times and locations and put them all in one place and still get above a 9.2, you're doing good. Now I have seen 9.8s with a bunch of signatures on it, but that is really, really hard to do. You have to have a 9.8 to start with, and then you have to be very, very careful every time someone autographs it. So it only takes one person, to rub here or rub here or smear it or do whatever to decrease it from 9.8 to 9.4. But you know, if it touches 11 hands, 11 different people autographed it, and 11 hands and touched it, even if they're side by side, table by table, your chances of getting 9.8 at the end is very slim. So 9.4, 11 signatures, good to go. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, we have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures no, number one from 1988. It's a 9.6. The important part about this, it's got two autographs on it. One is Steve Levine, who lives in, I think, Maine. And then Kevin Eastman, who lives in Hollywood or Texas, whichever house he wants to stay at. So they're both signed by both parties, Kevin Eastman and Steve Levine, who uh, both worked on the comic book originally. Uh, I don't think they worked on this comic book. Or maybe they did, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I take that back. The cover is by Eastman. 
but you know, Steve Levine uh, did sign it. So here we go, 9.6. All right, oh hell, let me see what we got here. Star Trek number one from 1967. Uh, it came back at 6.5. Now, originally we sent this book off and it got the first autograph on it. Well, before the first autograph, I think it was about a 9.0. Then after the first autograph of um, uh, Walter Koenig, it went down a little bit. Then the autograph of William Shatner, it went down a little bit. And then George Sakai. So it's got three Star Trek autographers on it and it is a 6.5. Like I said, it started, I think, at well, 8.5, then went down, down, now 6.5. So these older books do not handle multiple signatures well. So if you're gonna get an older book signed by the original cast or whatever it may be, be very, very careful. And I wouldn't have gotten it re-slabbed and re-signed by two other people after the first one came back 8.5. Uh, but whoever owned this book wanted it autographed again, so we cracked the slab, got the autograph in, it came back, we verified it, sent it back to CBCS, and then there we go. So, um, I think the most important thing is to have the three autographs, not so much the 6.5. But it's your choice if you wanna get it autographed. I don't think the extra autograph will increase the value as much as the 8.5 would increase the value with two autographs, or 7.5 with two autographs, and say 8.5, one autograph. So if you had a choice between having one autograph, 8.5, two autographs, 7.5, and three autographs with 6.5, I would go with the singular autograph at 8.5, and just get a different book to get the other two guys get to sign it, whatever it may be. But I know somebody who's sentimental and want to get the same book signed by multiple people at three different occasions, that's what you're gonna get at 6.5. All right, so this book is very similar to that. This is signed by Mark Pellegrini and Tim Lim. This is a Common American number one. Uh, this is, I think, a first printing Common American number one. Uh, Tim Lim is the is the artist, and Mark Pellegrini is the uh, the writer for this book. Uh, it's a 9.0. We are hoping, I think, to get a better grade than this. It looks very clean. I am not sure why it is not higher than 9.0. Uh, it looks to me, and it presents to me as a 9.6 or even 9.4. I am not sure what the grading notes are gonna say on this. But either way, this is a 9.0 autographed by the creator and the artist, Tim Lim and Mark Pellegrini. All right, so we have the last book out of five. This is signed by Jim, Jim Cummings, uh, I guess. Um, this is first Darkwing Duck in his own title at 9.2. Uh, I'm not sure how Jim Cummings is affiliated with this, but I think Jim Cummings is the voice of Darkwing Duck, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. Somebody out there in the notes, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Jim Cummings is the voice of the anime series for Darkwing Duck. Um, Otherwise, I, I'm pretty sure he's not the artist or the writer for it. But this came back as a 9.2, which is fairly decent since it's an older book anyway. Um, I think 1991, so it makes it over 30 years old. So I, like I said, older books, you gotta be real careful when you get them signed and you get them back in if you're gonna a higher grade. At, at some point in time, you're just doing it for the autograph. So if you want the book signed for the autograph, don't worry about this number on top. Just worry about the autograph, okay? All right, this is Sonny from Jacks. Uh, talking about some CBCS slabs we just got back in for some uh, customers. Um, they'll be happy to get them, I guess. I'm not sure they'll be happy with the grades, but that's the grades. All right, till next time, have a good one.